What's up guys? I am back reviewing The Real Housewives in New Jersey. I am very much late to the party. Nine episodes behind. But I'm gonna start at episode one. A lot has happened in my life and just in general with Jersey World. So I'm here to give my honest reaction and review. So from last season, what I remember was that Teresa told Melissa goodbye. Melissa was finally done with Teresa's mess because that's what Teresa brings. I've heard, been hearing this season there's a lot of changes in dynamics and separation that are not really sustainable for filming. So we'll see. So this is season 14, Housewives of New Jersey, episode one. Here we go. Listen, out of all these housewives, the people that fight the most are them, okay? It's not Atlanta or Potomac or, you know, I feel like when Potomac gets into a fight, it's really like, oh, you're giving black people and black women a bad name. But it's like, these ladies in New Jersey have been throwing down since season one. That that narrative is not the same for them, which is very interesting to me. Oh, the church word, don't say it off the <laughs> What'd you just say? The sole reason I like reached out to Teresa at all was for the party. That's it. I mean, her husband hired an investigator to investigate us, and I have no interest in being friends with people that do like that. See, that's the thing. Teresa, people stand Teresa. This is what I could say about Teresa OG legendary housewife. But I feel like to be a housewife, you have to be some type of crazy, okay? Doesn't mean you're a great person if you're a great housewife. She is not a great person. It's obvious in all the playbacks and all the clips. If you like her, you just like her personality or um, she's great TV. But in terms of as a person and then what she did and what her husband did, her current husband, Louie, did investigating everybody and then lying about it and not fessing up to anything. It's just the lowest of the lows. She's like one of the lowest, like I said, legendary, but one of the low, lowest low down housewives out there. I literally handpicked every single thing in this house. Mm. I'm in my element. Tell me Melissa's house is beautiful after everybody was hating on it. That you're gonna take with me. And I Let's like Melissa a lot, always like, have. What are you doing? I said something similar about Giselle in Potomac. I think Giselle's also low down. They're, her best scenes, just like Teresa, Teresa's best scenes are where I like forget everything she does is with her kids. Like she seems like such an amazing mother, like a beautiful mother. I will say that about Teresa. Because I didn't understand, like, you know, why I had to go to jail. And then I lost my mother, then I lost my father. But I finally got my answer. I went through all of this in order to meet my soulmate, Lily. <sighs> Teresa has been through so much on this show. I will say that her strength is so ad admirable. I just feel like a lot of the stuff, though, not including, you know, her, her parents, but a lot of the stuff, like the drama she's gotten into with her friends or family or even things like her ex-husband. It's just like, you kind of were part of the problem or part of the cause of, of those things. You know, it's like, you were kind of part of it. I don't know. So I do feel sorry for her for certain things, but then other things I'm like, you kind of ch chose it in a way. Open your okay. Jen Fessler looks great. I just love housewives that like I just feel like they have redefined what aging should look like or what, what society says aging should look like. They look amazing. Teresa called me on my birthday. As far as I'm concerned, she's dead to me. And I mean that. Her and her husband. I someone called my kid and threatened my kid. That would be it. You, you called my child at his place of business. You did. But she's always been nice to me. Teresa's always Therese. been absolutely lovely to me. What I would like to do is talk to Teresa about it. Don't ever bring it up. Please don't. Okay, listen. 
This is what I have to say about Teresa and what Louis did to Margaret and her son. Exactly, low down and dirty, like I said, and then they didn't fess up to it. It's like, you do your dirty mess and then you don't even have the balls to own it or say that you did it. Then you lie and say you didn't do it dirty. And then I don't really like how Jen Fessler was like, Teresa's always been nice to me. Friends like that are red flag. If you did something like that to my friend, you will not be a friend of mine. Okay, so the fact that Jen Fessler is like, oh, I'm a, I want to sit and talk to her because she's always been nice to me. What? What? You do remember that when this all first went down and you said to me, I'm not going to do this again. I'm never going to see those people again. And I did say to you that I'm not going to see those people again either. Mm -hmm. I meant it. Oh. I, you know what? I don't want to ever talk about her again. So okay. That's okay. I love you and I don't want to ever talk about it again. We're two girls from Patterson. Dolores is a really good friend, but I don't. I think that's all I'm gonna say. Part, you know, I'm I'm viewing it as what I would do, or who I am as a person, who I am as a person, knowing that Teresa did these horrible things to these other people, would make me feel like, oh, of course you would do that to me. Why wouldn't you? Then again, I don't know. I feel like every one of these shows needs a neutral person and Dolores is really great at that but I love how Dolores will get down if she needs to. To be honest, it's a private conversation. You say yeah, I don't get yeah. yeah. I don't get yeah. I can you can have it anywhere but it's between you two. Yes. How do they even feel how does Dolores and her man even feel comfortable sitting across from Louie and Teresa after what they did to these other people? Frank told Louie that they all met at Margaret's house before New York happened. They have a plan to go against Louie and I. For like trying to say anything negative about Louie, so wrong. Was okay, but what Louis. did Louie do well, to after Frank? After New York, my husband reached out to Frank. They've made up and he's like, I just want you to know that. They all came up with a plan trying to take Louie and myself down. I don't Where believe, I don't oh, believe anything heard. Teresa oh says. Louie is red I like this. What? Oh, Devil. <laughs> It's normal to have a meeting of the minds before the reunion. I think we all do it. This yeah. is how I'm looking at it, and this is why I don't feel like, oh, it's so groundbreaking. It's not. This group. The Lord sees like that, through this, the you know what, but I'm just like, I guess. I guess Dolores. I wonder what her sign is. Very neutral. Keeps the peace. But that could also kind of be problematic in certain situations being neutral i don't know where is jennifer is that like, yeah i haven't seen jennifer this whole episode it's a real nice i'm so excited to be here with you you look fantastic i love oh, this oh there she goes you look very so much came out in the internet his ex was saying he was like the biggest drug dealer look at teresa doing exactly exactly what, exactly what, what, exactly what, exactly what she didn't want people to do about louie last season talking about bringing up, bringing things to light on the internet. She's such a hypocrite. Jackie, what? You wanna meet somebody in person? A party's not a place to talk to. Why is Dolores' man so red and defensive when they're talking about Louie. I don't like the way everybody's facing Paul, and I can tell by Paul's body language, Not he's Dolores. losing his patience. Not the Lord standing over there watching her man. I am for Rachel's husband, John Fuller. And if anybody talked to threaten my family, there would be no conversations. So, Jersey has the best husbands. Um, in terms of their interactions with each other, they're definitely the best. Fun to watch. More than the ladies sometimes. Why should they talk here? John would have pulled them outside. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work the way you want it, Teresa. I heard he was the biggest drug dealer in Bergen County, Marissa. Well, he's not the biggest drug dealer in Bergen County. 
Look at Teresa being dirty. This is all I'm gonna say about Teresa and Louis. And you're never gonna win with people like that. You can make all the sense in the world. It will never get through to them. It'll never get through. Obviously, Teresa is a hypocrite. Everything she doesn't want people to do to her, she does. Just like the Jackie situation, where Jackie made the, um, Teresa made the rumor about Evan, and then Jackie said the analogy. She's good for TV, but terrible person um, to trust, I feel. And look what she's doing. She dug up information that she brought to the light um, that someone said on the internet about John Fuda. The exact thing she didn't want Margaret to do with Louie um, when Margaret brought up what Louie's ex has said. So it was just like, but she will never be wrong. So I don't blame Joe and Melissa for never wanting to talk to her again. She's toxic and terrible. And if you could deal with a person like that, clearly Dolores can and Pauly can, so be it. You know, but that's all I have to say. I can't wait to see the rest of it. I feel like the episode was okay. I mean, it's nice to look at the, obviously the parties and the food and the glitz and glam, but um, I wanna see where the story of this goes. Yeah, but all right, till next time. See y'all later. Thank you.